Hey guys, I'm Kirby. I'm the Customer Service and VIP Coordinator at Cenoscope. I'm here to talk to you today about two of our four new titles that are releasing this week. First is Grim Fairy Tales Genesis Heroes Reborn. On the covers, you can see that uh, the Grim universe has evolved. So basically, this is just a jumping on point for new fans who haven't really been familiar with our characters before. And it's also a fun read for some of our older fans who are very familiar with our characters and are kind of ready to take on the new direction that our Grim universe is taking. So we've got a couple of cool covers for you that highlight the characters involved in each story in the one-shot issue. So in this one-shot issue, there are five short stories featuring five of our characters. So there's Van Helsing, who is featured on cover A. And then it also highlights a story of Robin Hood, who is on cover B. And then one of the tales is about Skye, who is the daughter of Seela Mathers, our main character of Grim Fairy Tales. Cover D features Death Force, which is another one of the short stories. And on cover E is Alice from Alice in Wonderland, because there's also a short Wonderland story featuring the Queen of Hearts. So, check out Grim Fairy Tales Genesis Heroes Reborn One-Shot. And I'm also going to talk to you about Inferno Resurrection Issue 5. So, in Issue Number 5, Mercy, Frank, and Masumi finally find a way to defeat the demon Rom. So, it does involve a little bit of sacrifice, but it's definitely an exciting final issue. So, on cover A, the artwork is by Sean Chen and colored by Ivan Nunes. Cover B, artwork and colors by Dan Panosian. Cover C, artwork by Paul Green with colors by Ulamas. And on cover D, we have artwork by Harvey Tolibau and colors by Ivan Nunes. So Check out Inferno Resurrection number five on shelves today. Hi guys, I'm Tyler. I do web development here at Zenoscope Entertainment. So since we have so many new releases this week, I'm kind of hopping in the pool to help introduce some new comics. So this week we're releasing Grim Tales of Terror, volume two, number 13. So this is about Pickford's model. It's kind of in the vein of most of the other Grim Tales of Terror, how it's just kind of like a one-shot thing of different horror tales. So this one's based around these two painters that are kind of against each other, and one's really successful and no one's sure why, and then the other guy is very jealous of him. And so as you read through the comic, you'll kind of see how things pan out, and you'll see why the successful guy is kind of getting involved in some things he shouldn't, and kind of ultimately pays the price for it. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at some of the covers we have for this issue. So for cover A, we have it. Drawn by Greg Bo Watson and colored by Michael Bartolo. So for cover B, it's drawn by Noah Salonga and colored by CC De La Cruz. And then here we have cover C by Maria Lara Sanapo and it's colored by Vinicius Andrade. So be on the lookout this week for New York Comic Con. We're going to be debuting our volume two hardcover. So this is going to contain issues one through 13. So be sure to check it out. Hey guys, it's Adam again, and this week I'm taking a look at Grim Fairy Tales, the 2016 annual. And in this issue, we're left in the aftermath of the events of Grim Fairy Tales 125. And if you read that, you know what I'm talking about, but I will try to avoid any spoilers. So basically, we're left with Sky's story and where she's going to go in the upcoming months in the Grim universe. So she's basically learning her fate and... She has a test of her own will to see if she's ready to be up to the challenge. So cover A is by Paolo Pantelena and is colored by Arif Prianto. Cover B is by Alfredo Reyes and Sanju Nibangune. Cover C is by Pascal Colano and colored by C.C. De La Cruz. And cover D is by Renato Rey and colored by Wes Hartman. That features some of the characters you run into in the annual. Those are our new releases for October 5th. Be sure to check out 
all our books at our web store, shop.zenoscope.com, or hit up your local comic book store. Thank you guys for watching again, and we will see you next week. Be sure to visit us at New York Comic Con, booth 1906. We'd be happy to meet all you guys. I won't be there. Basically, I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> uh, it, um, um, hey guys, I'm Tyler. Uh, I bought the hamburger <clears> helper <throat> the other day when I went to the store with my brother over the weekend, but I forgot to get the ground beef. So. <coughs> uh, um, 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 um. All right, so I'm gonna stop recording and then. Let me look at you. I, I was looking at Tyler because Mizumi's his girl. I was yeah, like, yeah, I saw that's... it and I was like, oh, that's killer. I was excited. That's killer. I, I okay. just looked down the whole time. Sorry, I'm so funny and charming and handsome. <laughs> I know, it's really here. distracting. <laughs> Alright, go. Is it recording? Yeah. Delete that one, it was awful. <laughs> Alright, so just cancel it and try it again. Did you move this forward? Possibly. You can't lean forward because then your head's getting chopped off. That's good. Cut's kind of getting chopped off. Alright. So cover A is by my boy. Wait, who? <laughs> My boy. I don't know who. Cover B is colored. Cover B. It. Oh, cover B features Little Miss Tuffet set on a muffet. So this is gonna be like last week. Cover B is by Arif. Or go to your local comic book shop. Comic book. Shop.